Oh, hey. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Lose It a Lambo. My name is Curtis and you are on my journey of going from having lost pretty much everything in my life to owning a Lamborghini in only five years. I am over halfway to that deadline and constantly focusing on crushing it. Trying to do the things that I don't want to do, but I know I have to do in order to reach my goals. And for that, making me stronger, creating my, uh, increasing my self-confidence and improving me all around as a person. This week's video, book club day. All right, looking at Be Obsessed or Be Average with Grant Cardone. This is a really good read. And you know, sometimes you come across a situation where it's like you really needed to read that or hear that right at a certain time and it does come through and you read it and it helps you or somebody tells you something and it really helps you and you really needed to hear it just then. Well, that was this book for me. This book is fantastic. Before we get into the book, a little bit about Grant Cardone. This is a guy who was 25 years old and broke and on drugs and just living a bad, bad life until he decided to really turn it around. When I say turn it around, I mean turn it around. I mean this guy has five privately held businesses doing about $100 million a year in sales. Okay, uh, best New York Times, best-selling author of five books also named New York Times top 10 most influential CEOs in the world. So, of course, I was interested on anything this guy has to say. Why not? So I'm a guy who turned his life around. What do you think I'm trying to do? Turn my life around. Okay? Good book all around. Uh, one thing I find super interesting in this book uh, is the little blurbs. He's got little blurbs in here. Prints a nice size. Not too crazy to read, easy to read, easy on the eyes. And these little blurbs are fantastic. So this one's like, wake up and go to sleep with your goals. Okay, things like that. And he'll have them scattered all throughout the book. They're everywhere. If you don't push for performance at higher levels, you will never know how great you can be. And there's all these little blurbs in there. And they're taken from lines in the book. And he just highlights them and uh, makes it an easier read. Okay, so it doesn't make it as crazy. It's not just back-to-back -back boring text. He's got these little fillers in here that really kind of hit some of these comments home. Grant Cardone does things a little different than some of the other people I follow in the way that he's a little more strict, a little more ruthless, kind of kind of, sort of sounds like a, almost like a Steve Jobs when he was back in the day and he was uh, had no problem just firing people on a whim to go find the more talented people and stuff, though it doesn't seem like his actions were made in anger or whatever Steve Jobs were, is there more made on just calculated analysis? Like, is this person helping us or holding us back? And he's not afraid to make those cuts. And, you know, I can't really blame him because I've worked at places where cuts needed to be made and they weren't made and everyone saw that person or those people as a boat anchor, except for sometimes the business owner himself. And it's important. It, it teaches me that it's, it's, it's okay to make cuts. It's okay to, you know, find the right people that are really going to help you to where you want to go. Now, when I read books like this, books that have little exercises in them and have these gems of information scattered throughout, well, what I do is you can't always kind of go into the little exercises right away, I find. I like to finish a chapter or whatever and come back and do the exercise. There are a couple in here that help you kind of realize uh, maybe your purpose or help you find your purpose and help you direct your energy in a better direction maybe than you are now. Okay. So I go through the book and then I use just little sticky notes like this, these sticky notes. So I'm not dog earing the pages. So the book's okay. And this isn't my book. So I'm not writing in it. I do write in my books because they're mine. <laughs> Makes it easier for me to go back and see kind of where my head was at the last time I read the book. But this is great. I, I love the way it's all marked out. It's, it's easy, easy to find certain things and, and share them with whoever. But a uh, few of the things that did help me in this. So biggest things that helped me in this book were showing me that it's okay to be obsessed with a goal. It, people can be obsessed with very, very bad things or you can be obsessed with positive things. And like me, I am very much obsessed with my goal and sometimes I've been made to feel bad for that. 
It's like, oh, you need to take more holidays and you need to, you need to relax. You work so hard. And it's like, well, you don't understand. Like this working hard gives me energy. And, and sometimes it did make me feel bad because people were all like, oh, you know, you're missing out on all this time to do this and this and this. And, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, but I'm trying to accomplish something that some people will never accomplish in an entire lifetime. But it was still hard to not feel bad about it sometimes. And this book shows me a better way. It talks about a better way. It lets you, it lets you be okay with yourself in pursuing your goal. And not only that, but guys, you just spend more time with people that encourage you towards your goal. Like, hey, what are you working on now? What's, what kind of changes are you making in your company? What are you... What are your thoughts on this and, 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 and sales and growth and expansion and, and spend time with those kinds of people and, you know, the winners, the people who are out there winning, crushing, winning in life, not living paycheck to paycheck, not stressed about the bills, not, you know, if something breaks down, that could be the end of, you know, all happiness for a short time. And uh, it's neat when people who've done it and made it are willing to share that information. So I do highly recommend this book. It's, it's right to the point in a lot of areas. He does go back and do a little bit of his backstory about kind of where he came from and how he transitioned to success. And, and he's really good at all the sharing. He's really good at, at adding stuff. You know, I, I can go anywhere. And he, you know, he's not just all business either. You know, he said he donated, last year he donated 30% of gross income to charities. Wow. Wow. Not just obsessed with money. He's obsessed with you know, winning at life, doing it all right. Not just being wealthy and showing off, blah, blah, blah. It's not like that. It's pretty cool. So I do recommend this book. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. If you read it, comment below. Like if you read it, I guess, comment below. Let me know what you thought of it, good or bad. I want to know. And we can have a chat. Chat about this book. This book isn't mine, by the way. <laughs> Advantage is having friends who are like-minded. So I'd like to thank my buddy Brett Froze. This is his book. Brett, I'm getting your book back. I'm sorry, I've had it a while. I've taken a ton of notes and I've read it like three times. <laughs> so finally get it back to you, buddy. Here you go. And for all you guys, thank you for coming back to a new episode of Losing a Lambo. It's, it's always good to see you guys. It really is. Thank you for coming back. And uh, I'll see you next week. Maybe earlier. <laughs> Peace out, guys.